new parents are often told that they overreact when it comes to their newborn's health. That's what nurses told Joanna Mitchell when she took her two-month-old daughter, Riley, to the hospital after she developed flu-like symptoms. She was having some vomiting and her breathing um, seemed to be a, a little difficult. So after a few days of watching this, um, we decided that we should have Riley checked out by the doctor. Thankfully, the doctors were able to find out what was wrong with Riley and were able to determine the next steps that our family needed to take. They had um, done a chest x-ray and they had sent that along in the ambulance and I remember the doctor taking the, the screen and holding it up in the background and I remember the doctor saying enlarged heart. She needed a transplant or she would not survive. So we said, okay, we will list her for transplant. And after 10 short days filled with anxiety, doctors found a new heart for Riley. Two o'clock that afternoon, Riley did go into surgery and did receive her new heart. It was a very smooth surgery, no complications. We got to see her that night in the critical care unit. Now, thanks to the help of the doctors and, of course, the donor, Riley is now a healthy nine-year-old girl who is able to live a normal life. Riley is able to participate in many different activities, from organ donation awareness walks to the Canadian Heart Transplant Games that all donation recipients can participate in. She's uh, participated in the Canadian Transplant Games three times, and um, it's a Olympic-style event for transplant recipients. And she has brought home, I think it's 15 gold medals and one silver now. Um, the first time I went to the games was in Quebec, and I did swimming, swimming relay, bowling, long jump, track and field. I like that I get to see my friends, meet new people, and just like do the games and have fun doing them. Every year on January 29th, Joanna and Jeff throw a heart day party to celebrate the anniversary of the day that Riley received a new heart and a new life. Uh, we always have uh, friends and family over. A lot of our friends in the transplant community uh, come and celebrate with Riley as well. Um, so we can celebrate her life and also honor the donor's life who made uh, the decision to uh, give the gift of life to my daughter. Riley explains why she's so thankful to her donor. Uh, he's my hero because he saved my life and he gave me a heart and I'm really thankful for it. Statistics from organdonor.gov says that over 123,000 people are waiting for organs. 21 people will die each day waiting for a transplant and that just one organ donor can save up to eight lives. We talk about organ donation because we want people to sign up at beadonor.ca to donate and save other people's lives. Canada's donation rates are lower than any other country, and it only takes a few minutes to sign up to be an organ donator. April is Be a Donor Month, and Canadians are encouraged to show their support for organ donation by either signing up to be a donor or sharing the information so that others might choose to sign up. And according to many recipients, it's the best gift that you can give someone. Since that time, Riley has uh, done very well. She's had some bumps in the roads. Transplant is not a cure, it's a treatment, but uh, it has given her a better quality of life. For Spoke TV, I'm Danielle Saint-Cyr.